I'm Rick Johansson, and this is Iron Echo Design. In this Inkscape tutorial, I wanna show you how you can do radiating text coming out around a circle. It's a little bit different than the regular bend text around a circle, and this is coming from a personal project where I was trying to take a poem and have it look like this and then replace it with a picture in the center. Today, we'll do Casey at the Bat, and I'll show you how to set it up right now. It's pretty easy. I was searching for a way to do it where the, the regular way, how to bend text around a circle, where you take text, hold shift, gather a guide circle, and you can go up to text, put on path. Very easily does that, but I want it to come out. And there might be a better way than I'm gonna show you here. If you do know a way or some type of preset, please let me know in the comments. This is what I came up with. Also, I've gotten the comments, people saying that they like when I just do a free-flowing um, watch me do the work. So I'm going to try to do this with no edits. So to start off, what we're going to do is we'll create rotated copies of these rectangles, which will serve as the guide. And then we'll overlay each one of these as its own text. So we can then cut and paste the poem all the way around. Let's start by getting the rectangle tool. Just roughly make a rectangle. could be any color you want won't really matter. And then we'll go up to path, path effects, and we'll type in rotate copies. The default is six. Let's first go to edit paths by node, the node tool. I'll hold shift. That way I can lock in the horizontal and we'll bring it out about there, roughly where you want your circle to be. How about that? Let's change number of copies to 48, and that's pretty good. Now, before we move on, I know this is the perfect center because I just put it there myself. Let's drag down guides. Up in the ruler, if you drag down from anywhere, you'll get a guide, and I'll put one horizontal right on that node, center node. Drag one from the vertical, same thing. And that's gonna help when we overlay the text. So let's do that now. We'll grab our text tool and we'll click it into place. I'll just do the letter A because we're going to replace it. I don't want heavy. Let's go with normal. I'm on Enter V, which is an open source Google font. You can download that at Google Fonts for free. Let's move it into space. And here's a time jump we're gonna do. I do wanna put an A in every single one of them. But how do you do it so it actually fits easily and correctly? If you double click and you get the turn handles, you'll see your little hash mark here. Put your hash mark in the center of our guides and it should line up. So now if I hold this turn, see how it stays where it's supposed to stay? And there's a couple ways you can put them into the place. The easiest way is just do control D, which is duplicate, then drag it, control D, drag it, control D, and we'll time lapse our way to have it be finished. Okay, I got all the A's around. Now we don't really need this, these gold rectangles anymore, so I'll do delete. And this is what you need. I would save this. If you actually like doing these poems or you can take any type of text you want, like part of a story, part of something that you write, just save this part right here. This could be your template. And what you're gonna do is literally, um, I did try to pick something in the public domain, Casey at the bat. This, these are all the text we're gonna use and just one by one, where can I put this so you can see it? This is why I'm asking, does anyone know a better way? Maybe there's a plugin or a tool Highlight it so you have your text and then control V that one line. Get your next one. Same thing. You can see it start to take shape. The only poetic license I was doing was I'd actually leave a space in between because the poem itself was set up into stanzas. Anyway, I took out the middle one and I would skip along. So let's jump ahead and you'll see it filled out all the way. Okay, I rotated it a little bit. I added some color for the title and we'll get rid of our guides now. I do like the look of it like this. You could also add a center circle if you wanted something minimalist like that or 
I actually took from a previous project. I had this baseball and I popped that in there like that. I don't know, something about this design, almost like a spider web of text, it really hit me. I wanted to share it with you. Let me know what you think. If you have any comments or questions on future videos you'd like to see, let me know in the comments and we'll see you next time.